does it take to lead like a girl? Um, it may sound a bit cliches, but honestly, I don't think it takes much more than just, just being your authentic self. You know, I think a lot of the messaging in the past has been um, because we frame leadership in that of a male image, that we have women who tend to uh, want to operate, if you will, or act like how they see men lead. And I don't, I think us women should embrace our feminism. Whenever we think about leading like a girl, I think we feel like we're being mocked because we, we expect to emulate men qualities and to act like a man. But really and truly leading like a girl is embracing your femininity. It's um, being kind, compassion, having, showing emotion and empathy because good leaders need those qualities. Oh, wow, that's a great question. It takes everything. It takes, first of all, being authentic, being you. Embrace your uniqueness. You come with something special. You are value addition at every table. So come confident. Come knowing that you can bring something and come knowing you can contribute. Your voice matters. So leading like a girl means bringing empathy, bringing equity, bringing passion. For me, what it takes to lead like a girl are various attributes, talent, confidence, agility, and most importantly, the drive for success. When I started my company in 1981, I was like a sore thumb because there was all my husband's friends, all our friends, you know, why you have to work? Why your wife have to work? Because it's strange to, to have a, a, a wife working. And they used to pass comments at my husband a lot, you know, sometimes they used to, and then he would take it out on me, right? Because one time they even call him Miss, Mar Miss, Miss Marie, right? And they used to pass several comments like that. But in the business itself, um, I think I was always a fighter and I had a lot of mouth. So um, even in doing business abroad, I didn't know until years after that some of the guys that I, that I had to do business with always said, hmm, don't fool around with that lady because she, <laughs> she is tough, right? But um, you have to hold your own. You have to stick onto your beliefs and you have to fight to get there. Hmm. To lead like a girl takes courage, takes compassion, it takes discipline, it takes strength, uh, because all of these things I believe that women, most women in leadership will tell you that we have to work harder than our male counterparts to get the same results. Unfortunately, that is the way our society is. And so we really have to be tough because the, the blows do come from various angles, sometimes from even within. But you really have to be tough and, and know that this is all part of the territory. This is all part of leadership. It's not smooth sailing, but you also have to know that when, when the winds change, you, you must adjust. It takes, it takes a lot of courage to lead like a girl. I think that, um, you know, we're cultured, and, and today is a little bit different than when I was growing up, right? But we're cultured to, I think, be a little bit more in the supporting role as women. And um, I think that uh, girls have to realize that they're natural leaders. So to be confident and to know that a lot of the challenges that they face are similar to the challenges that men face, except men ha tend to handle these challenges a little bit different. So I think girls really do need to look at uh, how to be courageous and how to be confident. And those are, you know, being bold and, and not afraid. Those are some of the qualities I think uh, it takes to lead like a girl. And with that comes the compassion, the kindness, the nurturing, the, the thinking of through other lens because of what we've been through. 
And so that requires an authentic approach um, and, and being able to say, no, I, I think you're missing something there, or can we reconsider something else? And so I think to lead like a girl uh, means to be yourself and don't try to imitate what you think leadership should be.